Well, John Bright was a name on my family tree. He was just a name until a, a gentleman from our hometown of Fort Erie, where my uncle and myself were both born, reached out to me via social media and advised me that he had some records that probably belonged to my family. And of course, that spurred me on to do some more research with regard to his service. I had absolutely no idea that John, you know, that I had a member of my family in the armed service, armed forces, at any point in time on my father's side. Down in Fort Erie, there is a cenotaph, and the names of the soldiers are written on, as, as in most communities. And of course, John Bright's name is there, and I've seen it. It's not like I didn't recognize that, but to be honest, it had never occurred to me that this is a relative of mine. But upon doing a bit more research and looking into it and acquiring his service records from Library Archives Canada, I realized that yes, this was my family member. This was my great, great uncle. He'd been overseas, he'd been in the regular expeditionary force and he hadn't gone with the construction battalion, which I thought was amazing. I, I knew that that was unusual for someone, of, a person of color or a black person to be inscripted in, a, in a regular, the regular, as it were, forces. Um, I know about his war, you know, his experience, and ultimately I know that he died in France and is buried in France. I'm very proud to acknowledge that my uncle was the second black Canadian in during World War I who received the military medal for, for his actions, uh, his brave actions uh, under the, in the line of fire. Um, my understanding is that there were only six awarded to black Canadians, and I think that's quite significant that he was... Um, that he was selfless and that he was honored for that. It still moves me to think of this man who enlisted as a young man, no children, no wife, no partner, went overseas, was injured, was decorated, and ultimately paid the ultimate sacrifice and died there. And really, I wonder whether or not when he was fighting side by side with the, you know, the white soldiers, whether he was accepted more than he likely would have been at the time if he had stayed home. Um, it moves me to think, and I hope that he was. I hope that they just appreciated his value and his sacrifice and his service. It makes me proud to think that his story will live on and that uh, hopefully his service touches the people that come to visit the museum and that he's recognized, uh, that his sacrifice is recognized and that he has proven himself to be equal of any person that fought and died in the service of his country.